Good morning, it's day four already. Wow, uh, I'm heading to Mount Laguna this morning. Hopefully be there sometime, probably a little after lunch. Got started a little later <laughs> again, uh, 7.30 this time. So at least I went backwards half an hour, but that's okay. It's gonna be pretty, I think cool today, like in the mid fifties. So if that's true, then it should be a pretty, pretty great weather for climbing. Uh, so anyway, I'm gonna get moving and I'll update you guys when I get further up the trail. All right, now I know this sign is not a big deal for anyone else because we see it all the time in the PCT videos, but last time I came through here, somehow I missed it, even though it was right in front of my face. So I must have been uh, messing around with something, but pretty cool. So basically, stay on the trail. Got it. So it's flat campgrounds, 0.7 miles. here to take a quick breather. Uh, so I started at 4,200 feet in elevation today. It's where I camped and then I'm going to be climbing to uh, about 5948. That's Mount Laguna. So yeah, 1,700 feet elevation gain over nine and a half miles. So I know that last climb up into Mount Laguna is definitely a lot more steep, but um, anyway, it's nine and a half miles. We'll get through it one step at a time. Oh, that's been a nice way to wake up. <laughs> nice steep upgrade. That is flattening out now, which is nice. So I think it's going to go down a little, but then it's going to go back up and do that a couple times. But at least you get a chance to catch your breath on the downhills. I'm going to go up again, but that's all part of it. I'm starting to see pine trees up there way off in the distance. Today's gonna be challenging for sure. So, I mean, it makes sense. It's four days into the hike and uh, I figured today, day four or five, around that time, my body's gonna be like, what the heck is going on? So, <laughs> uh, I feel fine. I mean, I'm just going up a really tough climb from camp. So, of course, that's gonna be tiring. So, nothing out of the ordinary. Um, just stopping to take a break up here and just do some deep stretches now that I'm a couple miles into the hike. Um, yeah, today's just gonna be a rough day. Just gotta embrace it, get up the hill to Mount Laguna and uh, do some relaxing when I get there. So we can see the trail I'm taking over there. It's nice that it's flattening out for a bit and it'll descend down a little. That's where my uh, next water sources. Actually, I think you start to climb that big hill um, for the water source I'm going to at 37.8. And then from there, it's just basically climbing the rest of the day up into Mount Laguna. So I'm gonna enjoy this reprieve while I can. And the views are not too shabby from up here. Just very green. Getting closer to the pine trees over there. Let me see if I can zoom in. Okay, move along, lady. All right, I will. Here's the uh, Longs Canyon, I think it is. That's what I'm descending down into right now. So yeah, it's kind of a uh, semi-steep descent. Uh, so, so I'm feeling okay. My knee is actually feeling fine. It's actually my right foot. Uh, my Achilles was kind of acting up a little bit yesterday. And today it's kind of like a little bit of Achilles, a little bit of ankle. 
discomfort, but nothing bad. I know this is just the breaking in period. Um, and then the uh, trail's a little bit sloped from right to left. So it's been getting a lot more work than my left foot. So I think when I get to the um, next water source where I'm gonna take a break, I'll put my ankle support on for the rest of the day just to just to give it a little bit of uh, assistance if it needs it. Other than that, feeling pretty good. And I'm still loving it out here. It's absolutely beautiful. And I just forgot how much the scenery changes around each turn. So it's, it's pretty cool. It never gets boring. <laughs> and uh, a lot of it doesn't, isn't familiar from 2019. Um, so I feel like I'm still like seeing new things. So that's pretty cool. It's just so vast. You know, how can you remember every little detail of it? But anyway, just feeling super blessed to be out here. I do remember this section. All right, this is mile 37.8. This is where I'm gonna stop and take a break before I head up, um, yeah, we're gonna head up out of this canyon and up, uh, up in elevation again after this. So I'm just gonna take a nice break and enjoy myself. Reassess how much water I need to get to Mount Laguna, but it shouldn't be too much more. I am so thankful that it's cool today. I think that's just making today so much more bearable. Just showing you the view behind me. It's kind of like one of the first pine trees I've noticed. Cool, we're getting up there. I love pine trees and they smell so good. Yeah, it's gonna be a really nice uh, climb up. I mean, it's gonna be a hard climb, but I know the area is really beautiful. I, li I remember going through there in 2019 and really enjoying it. So I'm looking forward to uh, seeing it again. And when I get to the pine forest, I know I'm getting kind of close to uh, Mount Laguna, but that whole area is very tranquil, tranquil and so nice to walk through. So that'll be fun. All right, gonna enjoy my snack, get some water in me and um, head up this hill. So beautiful. starting to get a little bit cooler, a little bit more windy up here. And if I stop, I feel like I need my windbreaker on because it's getting chilly, but the sun is still so hot. So I think I'm good for a while without it, but I'm proud of myself again today, getting up these crazy climbs. Uh, I think the worst of it was this morning, at least that's what I keep telling myself. And that um, hopefully I'm kind of on the home stretch from here. All right, we're about to enter the pine forest right before Mount Laguna. I love this part. It's so, so nice and so peaceful. And the walk is nice and uh, easy too. So, of course I love that. Anytime you walk on pine needles, oh, it's heaven on your feet. Oh, look, my first pine cone. I know I'm gonna see like hundreds and thousands of these if I hook if I hike the whole trail but this is my first wow this is definitely different than what I've been uh, hiking in the past few days so pretty awesome and look at that path so I'm making really good time I think it's about 1245 uh, something like that and uh, I'm just gonna kind of feel it out when I get up here. I'm going to um, stop at uh, the campground, uh, Burnt Ranch Rancheria, and uh, just try to decide if I'm gonna stay there or if I'm feeling like I wanna move on a couple more miles this afternoon. But I do have to pick up a resupply 
and um, we'll see. Might be a good idea to just take it easy today because I have to do 12 miles. Let me show you these flowers. I have to do 12 miles uh, tomorrow, Friday, Saturday to get to Julian. So that's some pretty consistently um, good miles back to back that I've done all week. So I should probably consider staying here today. All right, I'm gonna put the phone away and pay attention to all this pretty, pretty stuff around me. Let me give you guys a pan here. Finally get a chance to catch my breath. Ooh, definitely a leg burner and a lung burner today. But I'm so thankful that my legs got me here. That's just, to me, that's incredible with how much um, I've had to climb the last few days. It's, uh, it's amazing to me and I'm so proud of my body for getting me where I am. So I just have to kind of, I think, be mindful of that. And, uh, oh, here's some more pretty flowers. They're so small, but they're so, just as impressive to me as the big flowers. Yeah, they're all over, blanketing the uh, grasses between these large pine trees. God, look at it, they're huge. I know the video doesn't do it justice, but those are enormous. Oh, it smells so good too. All right, like I said, I'm gonna put the phone away and uh, focus on getting to the campground. And uh, we'll talk to you guys soon. So we went through the woods and then we uh, uh, came out of the woods and now we'll be going back into the woods again. I hear my first mountain chickadee. Some people call them the cheeseburger bird. They have just the sweetest little sound. Oh, this makes me so happy. Look at you, are you pretty? Hurry up a little bit so you don't get stuck on. You're so chunky. My first snake. Hi, pretty baby. You are gorgeous. Pretty sure that's a gopher snake. I'll double check the ID when I get a chance. Look at him shaking his little tail like I'm a rattlesnake. Let's make you think I'm a rattlesnake. I know. They do that because when they're, they're in the leaves and they shake their tail like that, it mimics the sound of a rattlesnake. Pretty cool. All right, buddy. Well, you're not that ferocious. All right, I'll leave you alone. I'll leave you alone. All right, so I'm walking up to where the PCT continues that way to the right. And then you go this way for Mount Laguna and all that that offers. But look, trail magic maybe? Let's see. Pike Place. Ooh, I do like my Pike Place. I might take this so I can have some decent coffee and uh, we'll figure out how to brew it if I don't stay in the hotel here. I'm gonna go pick up my resupply, probably stop at this tavern on the way. Well, you know what? Maybe I should stop here first. I'm not sure what their hours are, but I think they might be short. I'm not sure. <laughs> get some food first and then go get my resupply.
it is really cold really windy we've got this really crazy mist that's blowing through here right now and i think it's going to be a really brutal night tonight i am um, i ended up finding a spot that's kind of down um down the hill and a little bit more protected i think but it's still it's still going to get gusty but it's definitely better down here than it was up in the free pct hiker camping spot so that's like a really nice place to hang out if it wasn't so cold outside. All I want to do is just get inside my tent though because it's really chilly. Alright guys, I'm wimping out of here. <laughs> Could like the walk of shame out. I'm going to go uh, stay at the tiny houses that are right next door here. Just because the weather is so bad. And uh, I'm freezing in my tent with everything I have on. That is not good. And it's not even nightfall yet. And it's supposed to get down to 30 tonight. But the air has so much mist and it's so damp. And it's just coming right into my tent. And on top of that, I'm just not feeling very good. So I just thought, you know what? I'm going to be smart and take care of my body. Um, you know, I want to make this hike. So I have to kind of make these decisions. These are so cute, these tiny houses. So I'm number eight. There it is. That's my little house for the night. So here's the room I'm staying in. This is so cute. And here's the bathroom. Isn't this adorable? Oh my gosh, I love it. <laughs> 